Hello, PPs, aka plant people. Today, I'm going to show you how I set up my IKEA Rudsta cabinet and also how I am preparing my Hoya imports for acclimation. I got some items off AliExpress like this grow light and to line the bottom of my cabinet, I did get this little water catcher from Greenworks. To reduce mold, you want to have good airflow. I got this cell phone fan from AliExpress and to tape it down, I got some nano tape from the dollar store. Don't forget a humidifier and also weather stripping to help maintain the humidity in your cabinet. Next, you can get these grid racks from Umomo in Vancouver. I did also get some racks from AliExpress as well, such as this little hook one. And inside the cabinet, I got these hooks from Ikea, which fit perfectly into the little holes at the top of the cabinet. And for interior decor, I got this sand blasted grapevine, I believe. A good addition to your cabinets or a shelf would be these acrylic risers. I really like them just because it sets, I guess, a little balance in your cabinet. Or you can use it as decor. I got these glass suction cups off Amazon. They're for aquatic tanks, but I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. Um, from Umomo, I purchased these custard cups. They're glass. They're really good for no drainage potting. It's super cute. It's really good when you have multiple cuttings that you want to propagate or plant. Of course, you want to monitor your humidity and temperature, so make sure you get one of these. It's a good idea to purchase a power bar since there'll be lots of wires. I did purchase one with a USB outlet as well. I like to keep things tidy, so I got some Velcro to Velcro some wires down just to hide things a little bit better. Inside my cabinet, I purchased these custom shelving off of Etsy. I will link the seller in the description box below. Before you start, make sure you snake through all your wires so you don't have to take your cabinet apart like I did. For the grow light, I secured it with a Velcro sticker, but you want to make sure you are positioning it properly and the right orientation where you want it before you tape it down.
sports today. I'm sorry about the background noise, I'm just doing some laundry. I have some Super Thrive in here, and honestly, it stinks. I've never done it before. Um, I did get other Hoyas from Crystal Star Nursery, and I'll go that. I didn't get too many. Um, I got the Hoya Carrara Sumatra yesterday. I did give it a good water, so it's just sitting in my little tray here. And I got a Hoya Thomsonii. So cute! It's like super fuzzy. And this is not a Hoya, but it's a silver dollar. It's so adorable. <gasps> ah! All right. So these ones I'm not going to soak um, just because they're not imports. Oh my God. Okay, so. I totally forgot that I got a Thompsonii, another one. So, this is so big. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not gonna remember all these, to be honest. Oh, they're so dry. Anyways, there you go. is my Obavara. Oh my gosh, these are so big. <laughs> Look at this one. I'm like in a rush too. Like I need to go out for dinner at 7 and it's like 6.10 right now. Oh my god, these roots are like so dry. I don't know. I don't know if it's like normal that it looks like that. I don't know. But my Hoyer is While that's soaking, I'm just gonna clean this up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so while those are soaking, I'm just gonna pick up the first one, which is the Thompsonii Pink. And I'm just gonna start inspecting to see if there are any pests. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna spray it down um, with safers. Here, I'm pretty sure there won't be anything. Um, they're they're pretty like hard leaves. So. bug on this. So to remove a mealy bug, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So you can kill a mealy bug, mealy bug with uh, a bug spray, but it's better if you just use rubbing alcohol. So I have a cotton swab here. I'm just going to saturate it. And let's do this close up. It's gonna turn brown. Ooh, that's disgusting. Anyways, 
There's the dead mealybug. Oh, shit. There's like more on here. Ugh, gross. Import mealybug. Gross. Shoot, I should have checked the stuff before I dumped it into Super Thrive. Anyways. It is what it is. It's part of having plants. Um, you just have to make sure you do a good job. Cleaning everything. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, right? Okay. I'm gonna go through with this as well. Let that sit. It's the BP03. Seriously, when I got the list, I'm just so paranoid about melee bugs now. When I got the list, I really had no idea where to start because the list was freaking huge and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what whale I want. So I just, I just looked it up, I looked it up to see what there was and whatever it was cute. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. wanted to plant everything straight into pond but it looks like I need to reroute everything so my choice is going to be using perlite today. When working with perlite I recommend you wearing a mask just because there's a lot of dust kick up and it's not good to inhale it. So for potting wise I'm using these plastic dessert cups from Dollar Tree that I found. If you can find those cups, that'd be great. Uh, they're just very versatile and they look good. I know Charmaine, Unplanned Parenthood, loves using these as well. I'm pretty much trimming off a lot of the roots just because they're no good. They're pretty crispy when I got them. And because of the tight packaging, I'm pretty sure they just died from having no oxygen. For the bigger plant cuttings, I'm actually trimming them down to smaller size so I can have more propagations and also the plant doesn't have to spend more energy trying to maintain the life of the whole entire vine versus it can just kind of focus on a small segment and create more roots. With the cuttings that I made, I'm dipping it into rooting hormone and just letting that calcify a little bit before I stick it into the perlite.
Once I'm done potting everything, I'm just adding a little bit of water reservoir to the bottom so that it doesn't dry out. Currently, my cabinet is used to acclimate some of the previous imports that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm really hoping that these Hoyas root well and then I'll get them potted up in pond and have these inside my cabinet. I will do a cabinet styling video once these plants are acclimated, but as far as decoration right now, I only have the grapevine bark or grapevine stick wood however you call it, and also some cork bark at the back of the cabinet, which you can't really see right now. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If there are any other videos that you would like to see or any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comment box below. And we will see you soon.